did. Now we come into the methodology. As you know, that the methodology itself is a very uh, big part, but actually we are not going into detail, but we will just touch into all the important components of the methodology. In a manuscript, you need to have a session called uh, methodology. Some journal call it methodology, some journal call it as methods, some journal call it as materials and methods, right? Whatsoever it is it should have the following section one is the study design your study is a cross-sectional study is your study is a descriptive study is your study is a randomized control trial is your study a simulator client study so whatever the study design that you have used it you have to mention many times the student researchers are not accepted in the journal because the methodology is not very clearly described methodology don't talk about study design methodology don't talk about the ethical approval it doesn't talk about the study duration it doesn't talk about the inclusion exclusion criteria that means your methodology is only only partial that's why good journals are not going to accept your study so it should have a study design and ethical approval please make this point very when you do a student research, you should have the ethical approval or if there is a, no ethical committee approval, maybe the college committee, maybe the department, there should be a committee that has issued a letter to you saying that this study is not going to make any harm to the individual. So that ethical approval should be there and many journal ask the ethical approval letter to be attached along with the manuscript, right? So ethical approval is an important aspect. You might ask me a question. I'm doing a, a review article, systematic review. Do I need a ethical approval no you don't need ethical approval you need ethical approval when you do a research that involve human beings when you are interacting with people when you are giving some technique when you are taking giving the medication when you are giving counseling any human interaction is involved with the researcher then you need to get the ethical approval that's very important today if you look into it many studies are not not accepted in good journals because there is no ethical approval that's been obtained then the study site where the study is being done this study is being done in a so and so hospital which is a 450 bed at tertiary care hospital like that you know you have to do it and study duration is it the two months is it the three months and so on and the tools and questionnaires whether you use any questionnaire yes i use a questionnaire back pain quality of life questionnaire for back pain whether this question is validated whether i use i develop my own questionnaire or i adapted this questionnaire and whether I took the permission to use the questionnaire, please remember, many times students don't get the permission from uh, permission for using questionnaire from author. There are some journals which are open access. You can use the questionnaire maybe without permission. But some journals, the author's copyright or the journal publisher copyright the questionnaire. So you cannot use the questionnaire. Suppose if I have some questionnaire and I don't uh, allow others to use the questionnaire without taking from my permission. So if you use someone's questionnaire without taking the permission, sometime you can land in court case, okay? So that's going to be very crucial thing. So in the tools and questionnaire, you should mention, I've used this questionnaire the, it was developed by so-and-so people if uh, you have to put the reference from where you have taken the questionnaire and you say the permission was obtained from the researcher so and so that's it then the inclusion and exclusion criteria my study is on back pain but i include only people who are above 65 years so my inclusion criteria is the pe people who aged more than uh, more than 65 but people who had who recently underwent surgery I excluded it. So I say that uh, exclusion criteria, people who underwent surgery recently in last two months or people who had diabetic complications, people who are bedridden, people who are using wheelchair. So I have excluded in my research. So I need to mention the inclusion and exclusion criteria. Sampling technique. This is very important. Please make a note of it. Most important problem mistake that the students often do. Sampling technique. I'm going to do a study in Savita Hospital with 455 people. I'm doing it. Now the author will, the journal will ask, why do you use 450? Why not 200? Why not 600? You got it? So there is a method called sample size calculation. If I am doing a research, if I'm a doing a research, I need to arrive at a proper sample size. If the sample size is not proper, that means your data collection may be wrong. For example, I give a simple example that if I want to do the general public opinion on wearing face mask, you know, nowadays all of us wear face mask, right? General public opinion on face mask in Chennai city. So how many people should I do the sampling? Can I do the study in two people and say that, well, oh, this is what people feel? No, it's not correct. Can I do it? Because when I go to the third person, maybe the opinion changes. Can I do it with 20 people and say that 
the sampling i say i used in 20 people no maybe no the 21st person has got different so the sample size means you calculate the sample size in such a way that after certain period how much ever number of people you repeat it so you will get so if i'm doing in chennai city i need not do in 2 lakh people no not necessary it's waste of time because most of the responses are going to be the repeating repeating all the same that's what is called saturation point that's why the sample size should be calculated there are formulas to calculate sample size so you need to see if i'm doing a study on back pain maybe with 40 people maybe inadequate maybe i need 85 people so how do i arrive at the particular number that i arrive at by using a sample size calculation formula now i decided to take 40 people so can i take all 40 on one day no maybe one day this much next day so there is a way by which you choose your sample that is very important your sample cannot be too less because too less means it is inadequate it cannot be too more it should reach a point where beyond that sample size even if you take more response then the the answer is going to be same that is what is called sampling technique so in the manuscript you need to clearly mention how you arrive at your sample size and how you choose your population your sample your subject i say i choose 177 people but someone ask me why not 167 people why not 180 people i should be in a position to position to defend myself so there are standard methods to calculate the sample size and the sampling process what method you have used in your research you have to mention it then the next one of course the method of data collection how do you collect your data yes you can say that sorry yeah any question no okay fine so the method of data collection how did i collect my data did the researcher went to the house of the respondents whether well, the patients were approached when they came to the hospital for their back pain treatment or did the physician collect the data did the nurse collect the data did the faculty member collect the data you see how you collect the data whether you collect the data only once you collect the data more than once all has to be mentioned then how you perform the result analysis you have to mention it you say that i collected the the, the collected responses were put in the excel or spss then the data was analyzed for so and so parameters that has to be mentioned but again you know the uh, method of method of data collection result analysis statistical test these are important uh, separate areas maybe it should, they themselves are like for 2 to 3 hours se separate sessions but at least you should know that this all component should be there in the methodology section statistical test this is very important many time in student research student research you do a research but you don't mention it, perform any statistical test then where is the association where is the correlation please remember if we want your studies to be published in good journals and normally they want some statistical analysis to be performed but again you remember that all studies don't need statistical analysis okay but but most commonly the studies will need it and the last part of the methodology is pilot test pilot test means i want to do a big project but when i do a big project and i really don't know whether this project will work out or not so what will i do we i try to test in small numbers whether my methodology is correct whether my questionnaire is good and so on i do with small number of people that is what is called pilot test for example for example any companies you know if 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 uh, uh, nokia or if iphone launch a new model please if iphone launch a new model they won't straight away bring it to the market what they do they first give it to 100 or 200 people the iphone they ask them to use for a few months then they use it and they see that wow yes it works there is no any complaint when there is no any complaint and they get the feedback then they launch the iphone in a larger population because if straight away they launch in the larger population and if something goes wrong there is some error or some problem then people will have a bad opinion on that similar to that when you do a main study using 300 people or 200 people i just don't want to try straight away i do my research with the 10 people but not for one year for 15 days i do my study i collect my data and i learn the experience with that any problem i am facing and then i do the main study so you need to mention in the methodology whether you perform the pilot testing or not so these are all the important steps that should be included in the methodology section of your manuscript but of course some some journals might want something more than that and some journals may not want some of the section but by and large this is how the methodology section should be made of mm -hmm.